Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're going to get straight into it. Favorite artist number 99, I got a really good one for you today. So the criteria, 133 favorite artists, that's just, I made a list, that's where it stopped, okay? And then I ranked them and I re-ranked them. Uh, I spent a year on this. Uh, discography, live, performance, if I've seen the band live, and then magazines, books, poetry, whatever. How interested I, am I in the band? So this is a um, really a good really a good one today. I'm excited about this band. Uh, three piece from St. Paul, Minnesota. Got it figured out. They were together for a decade until they just uh, imploded from a manager that committed suicide. Uh, drug and alcohol problems and all that kind of thing. But we're talking about, well, first of all, let me stop and tell you that um, I have a list to the playlist below. I also have a link to my Patreon page. And do hit the like or subscribe button. So I just wanted to stop. But anyway, we're talking about Husker Du, the hardcore band. Yeah. Yeah, great band. Have I seen them? Yes. Yes. I saw them in April 1987 and met them at a record store signing. Really nice Midwestern guys. Uh, rest in peace, Grant Hart. But uh, they couldn't have been nicer. Just Midwest nice, you know what I mean? And it's fantastic. So, what uh, I mean, it was, uh, it was an all-ages show at a place that later became a Peter Piper Pizza. Yeah, it was for a while. It was an all ages club, and then they turned it into a pizza parlor in uh, Chandler, Arizona. It was called Prisms, and wasn't there very long. But here's what I've got. Um, first of all, I want to show you. Um, remember, forty five RPM records. Yeah, I have eight miles high. The um, which is backed with a live performance of Masochism World at uh, the Royal Albert Arms, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Yeah, so very cool. So this is, uh, yeah, just really a night. And as you can see, it's in really good condition. Uh, this is in what I would call near mint condition. It's only been played less than five times probably. And then I have New Day Rising on CD. And then I have Warehouse Songs and Stories, which I don't know if you can see this, but it's autographed. I have all three of their autographs on the CD. Bob Mould on top there, I think, and then Grant and um, Graham Norton. So, um, pretty darn cool. I used to have Zen Arcade on vinyl, and I also used to own Candy Apple Gray and Flip Your Wig, but I, I guess I sold those, or um, Candy Apple Gray might be down at the record store, but these are the ones I've kept, and of course, this one, not for sale. Um, I saw them a week before they were on the Joan Rivers show, and they told me in person that they were going to be on that show. So that's how I found out. So the next week I turned on the TV, and there they were on the Joan Rivers show. So what do I like about these guys? Well, the live experience, I mean, it was just pummeling. It was just, it was just awesome. And Grant Hart, such a great drummer, Bob Mould, such a great guitarist and and such great songwriters, right? Very melodic, very melodic, but a lot of feedback and just fast paced. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge hardcore fan, but my favorite hardcore band, probably these guys, um, love it. Uh, I don't have um, Black Flag. Or, or any of the other SST artists um, in the hardcore realm on my list because these are the guys I like. 
And songs are like, you know, New Day Rising and Pink Turns to Blue and Sorry Somehow. That is a great song by um, Grant Hart. So if you want to check out that playlist, Makes No Sense at All is really good. Um, Don't Want to Know If You Are Lonely, Bob Mould's Hardly Getting Over It. Um, Could You Be The One, these are just great songs. So thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.